Hello, my name is Anthony Keller, and welcome to a new season of That Deacon on YouTube. For those of you who don't know, I am an ordained deacon in the Episcopal Church. I serve at a church named St. George's in La Cunada, California, which is part of the larger diocese, the Episcopal Diocese of Los Angeles. I think last year, I believe it was last year, I sat down and just talked to you, had an old-fashioned YouTube vlog, a VLOG, where a person was just talking to the camera. And I thought I'd do that for this month, August of 2017, to share with you some of the ideas and programs I have in mind for this year. So you may remember, uh, I believe it was in May, uh, May Deacon on YouTube, I talked about the housing problem in Los Angeles and shared how my spouse and I had decide, decided to give up our apartment. Well, we were lucky enough to have a winter home offered to us by two of our parishioners who live in Maine, and they come out this way during the winter. So the home here is normally closed up. Well, they were kind enough to uh, give us a great deal to rent this house from them as we plan on finding a new place to live. We haven't started looking yet. We'll probably do that beginning in the fall. But during the month of June, we had to deal with two moves at once. We hired movers to come in to move some of our stuff into storage, and then we had to decide what things we were going to bring here, and then close up the apartment and get everything cleaned out. So that took up most of the end of June. And finally, come July, really, we started to settle in here, which was the beginning of my vacation. My vacation time was spent partly closing up the apartment and then just trying to relax. Uh, my spouse and I had our yearly trip up to Cambria, California, which is about mm, maybe 20 minutes south of San Simeon, where Hearst Castle resides. We love going up there. We love the low-key atmosphere of the place, and we love the weather, of course. So we go up there every year. So what plans do I have for that deacon on YouTube this year? Well, we have a few. Uh, recently, at the church where I serve, uh, St. George's Episcopal Church in La Cunada, California, uh, the people had decided to redo and redecorate our church hall and literally rename it the Nourishing Spirit Center. And what we hope to do is rent the space out to various organizations wishing to offer different forms of classes for people or maybe a meeting place. Uh, as it stands now, we meet three, um, oh, I don't want to call them AA groups because they're different types of groups, but three support groups uh, use our space right now. And then we have square dancing. Uh, that is also offered. But we hope to offer different types of classes to the general public that the church will sponsor in our new Nourishing Spirits Center. Uh, I have two ideas and we're going to be hopefully bringing those to the public very soon. Uh, the first thing we hope to offer is a Saturday morning workshop, just a one-day affair, where we would like to have a local chef come in to teach people in our community, A, how to pick and buy fresh vegetables. We are lucky enough to have two farmers markets in a very short distance from each other. So it's the perfect opportunity to learn about ways in which you can buy fresh vegetables. A lot of people possibly don't cook a lot of fresh vegetables because they don't know how to prepare them in interesting ways. So we hope to have the chef come in and offer a workshop on not only how to pick fresh vegetables from a farmer's market or a regular market, 
but how to prepare them in ways your family will enjoy them. So that's one idea. Uh, the second I will be pairing with our rector, the Reverend Amy Pringle, and we have decided to offer a class uh, we don't have a name yet for it, uh, but we're going to pair ethics or moral theology and Star Trek. So we hope to watch the Star Trek episode with a group of people and then discern halfway through what the moral and ethical problem is and then we will watch the second half of the program and discuss their way of solving that ethical or moral dilemma, all using Star Trek as our jumping off point. I've mentioned it to a few people in our congregation and around town, and it looks like we have a lot of enthusiasm in presenting this. So this will be a six weeks course uh, that we will be offering down in our Nourishing Spirit Center. So I hope to cover both of these with my camera at times on our new season of That Deacon on YouTube. Another idea I had for this year was to take my camera on the road because there are other deacons within the Diocese of Los Angeles, the Episcopal Diocese of Los Angeles, who are doing some amazing things out and about various areas of Los Angeles. So it's my hope to uh, don my Huell Hauser outfit and practice ways in which I can say, wow, and share with you the work of other deacons uh, offering various things and serving the communities around these local churches. So look for other deacons this year and some of the fantastic things that are taking place in and around the Los Angeles area. Of course, throughout the course of the year, who knows what's going to come into my mind. I never try to predict. Uh, but those are my plans for this year. So I hope you look forward to visiting me once a month to see what's next on That Deacon on YouTube. Until next month, I'll talk to you later. Be well, be happy, and people, love one another. Love God. Love your neighbor as much as you love yourself. And that way, we may have a little bit of peace in this otherwise crazy world. See you next month. Bye.